I'll think about uh, maybe using a rod in one hand and uh, having the fire orb in the other. Not so sure there. I would have to uh, switch out Garrett's throwing axes for a torch, which is not my uh, my first option to be doing. But you know, whatever. Not a big deal. Get rid of that guy. Nice and fast. Oh, another one of you guys. Here, have one of those to the face. So yeah, that's, that's something I enjoy being able to do is throwing those things off. I don't know why I did that. That has no range to it whatsoever. There we go. Got rid of that guy pretty quickly. He managed to poison us, but uh, we've got so much poison defense at the moment that it doesn't really matter. Hi there. You are not going to last very long, Dr. Zoidberg. Sorry, but uh, we have grown much stronger since the last time we met. Couple throwing knives, not necessary for me. Hi there. Came to the party, eh? Nice. Getting some good experience here, but uh, it's highly doubtful I'm going to be getting a level anytime soon at this rate. Hello? Come on. I know you want to play. So we'll deal with you. Nice. Like getting in those thunder strikes. They do some serious damage. Come on now. Well, I wasn't expecting you around the corner. Thought we got rid of all the Dr. Zoid birds. Apparently, not yet. And here we have our fifth skull. Which I'll go ahead and throw into here. So if you're trying for the skull achievement, there's your fifth skull. Awesome. So five skulls in a bag, good to go. Take this bread with me. Does anyone need this? I think a lot of people need this. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eat a few items out of my pack. Clear up some space. Looks like we still got a few blobs down here. Come on, buddy. Let's play a little game. It's called I Like Jello and You Look Like Apple. Very nice. There. There you go. And you are done for. That would be a tar bead. I'll take that. Another tar bead. Very nice. It's always nice when you can get random tar beads everywhere. Um, I'll just go ahead and switch this out so it doesn't burn out sooner rather than later. Put that on you. Suppose I could try to cure disease on him, but I don't really care that much, and I don't want that poison. Alright. There we go. See? I knew it wouldn't last that long. Disease really isn't that big of a deal. Stupid shuriken. I don't need you anymore. Go home. Find someone else who loves you, Shuriken. Because I'm not the one. Alright. Okay. 
Okay, let's get out of here. Um, I guess I want to keep the shaman staff for the moment. You know what? I'm going to keep a few rocks just because. And I'll put torch down instead. Whoops! <coughs> nice move. That was not what I was trying to do at all. That was a very bad move on my part. Actually, I could use that torch now. Okay, can we go down the stairs? Thank you. This torch is okay, yeah? Yeah. Give me that. Perfect. Now, let's try not falling down a pit. That would be fancy. Okay, so we've got five letter or uh, five levers here, levers, however you want to pronounce that, like uh, Turum was talking about, and you might notice there's um, a strange assortment of pillars here, which don't seem to make much sense, except for the fact that uh, some of them are closer and some of them are further away. Well, for the ones that are closer. The levers should be up for the ones that are further away, they should be down. So, if I got that correct, we should be good to go, and that should bring up this little pit here. But before we go ahead and grab that, I'm going to go ahead and rest, because it's not going to be the easiest of things to do in just a moment here. There we go. Set up a nice little spell for ourselves. Take that key and let's get going. You might hear something. Ow. Something that I do not like to hear. Well, there we go. I believe uh, the more damage you do to it in general, uh, the faster its shield goes down. I could be wrong about that, but I think the Goromorgs have a shield that shields them from a specific amount of damage. I could be completely wrong on that, though. I've never really tested it uh, thoroughly. Which way are you gonna go? That way? Fine with me. Of course, if you kill me, that is not fine with me. Watch out. Now we got a couple of Gora Morgs trying to give us the business here. That is not okay whatsoever. Hi there. Well, if you just stay there, I can definitely use that against you. Hey, I said stay th there you go. Whoa! <laughs> I think I threw that into the wall somehow. I don't know how that worked out, but okay. Come on, buddy. Let's break that shield of yours. Alright, his shield's broken, so now we can start doing some actual damage to him. Just slowly get a little bit closer. And work a number on him. Ow. All right. I think we have a moment to rest here. Looks like it's all going okay at the moment. I like that. Don't want to be mauled by any Goromorgs coming out of the ether. All 
All right, looks good. Now then, there's one last thing that we need to do before we leave this area, and that has to do with that. Welcome to another secret. A note from Turum. Finally, I discovered a stash of supplies, but once I got in here, the wall closed shut behind me. I have been too confident in myself. I thought I knew how the rules of the dungeon work. Turum. Oh, Turum. That doesn't look very good. Well, here's a secret. A phalanx helmets? Don't need it. A hardstone bracelet? Don't need it. Tattered cloak, which apparently Turum was wearing? Don't need it. Another note? My ink is starting to run dry, and I haven't had a crumb to eat in days. I can hear them whispering behind the walls. They knew I wasn't on their side. I'm too weak to walk. I'm trapped. If only I could ri- Oh, Turum. It seems you have met your end. And we found your bones. But not to worry, Turum. We won't leave you there. We'll bring you to a better place. You did, however, have an amazing ancient axe. An axe that has probably seen more split skulls than any other in the history of mankind. Let's check out Turum here. Long ago decayed remains of a human. The bones have a strange aura. Long ago, huh? So it seems Turum was down here long, long before we ever got here. Interesting. Well, not to worry, Turum. Your death will not be in vain. We will take you to different locations. Hmm. Almost looks like these guys respond. Hey! Jerk. Or at least one of them did. Where the other one went to, I could not tell you. God damn it. Did not move fast enough for that. Alright then. Ow. Good job getting that shot off, buddy. Hi there. Well, you are definitely not that powerful. Sounds like we've got another one. Fancy. Well, I don't know. Maybe they both did respawn. It is entirely possible. Nice miss there. Is he coming or not? Nope, oh, looks like he's ready to be killed. Wow. Alright, sliced him up good. Now, we could go ahead and open those right now, but I have other business to attend to. I know you died, Turum, but it's not over. Not for you. Ah, distant sigh of relief in the distance. That's nice. It's nice to hear that maybe Turum uh, is free of his mortal coil. 
feels a little better. But I totally hear another one of those Goromorgs flipping around. Where could he be? Hello? There you are. Ow. Whoops. Surprised he took that long to shoot me thing. Come here, buddy. There we go. I felt like taking out that Goromorg. Besides, it gets us much, much closer to the next level. And I like that. I quite enjoy getting closer to the next level. Alright. We have a door to open. One with many, many keys of ornateness. Okay. There we go. Door open. Nice. So we have this area to go around if we like. And you might notice there's a nice little panel under here. Much like a, uh, a certain secret we found a while back. This has a similar one. Now we've got this thing here. Go ahead and uh, save the game real quick. Show you what this is all about. So we get a secret over here. And if you pick up any of these items, you're uh, you're actually going to trigger a trap, which will almost certainly kill at least one of your party members, if not all of them. And uh, both things that you pick up will uh, will cause that. But you hit this nice little button here. This guy gets covered. And he is completely helpless at this point. He can't do anything to you any longer. Basically, everyone doesn't need food, but I'm going to go ahead and eat anyhow. Just because. Alright, I'm going to use this bag for ingredients. Go ahead and grab these off of her. Oh, that weighs me down. Let's see here. That's still weighing me down. So perhaps if I move a few of these things around... There we go. No longer weighed down. You can go ahead and eat that. So I wanted to... Uh, get all the alchemaic ingredients on him which I think is nice and we'll also switch some torches around sweet alright this right here is a uh, scaled cloak which we have got on our main character already but everyone else already has cooler stuff like the uh, huntsman cloak the uh, other huntsman cloak and finally the Diviner's Cloak, so this thing, not really worth it. It's a good cloak, but um, I'm not going for evasion so much any longer. Alright, now then, let's go ahead and cover this hole back up and head on through. So, another little area that... Uh, Definitely looks rather suspicious, if you ask me, with a key here. So I'm not going to pick that up just yet. Go ahead and check out the rest of the area first. Alright, so we've opened a door, which takes us back here. So we're basically in this place that we couldn't access before. The prison key. Well... That actually wasn't a trap. I don't know whether to feel relieved or 
slightly afraid that that wasn't a trap. As if no one thought we would make it this far. Or perhaps whatever's awaiting us in this prison is worse than whatever we've been coming up against so far. I don't know. But next time, we'll open this prison door and find out. Bye for now, everyone.